What is up? What's up? What's up? How's everybody doing today? Scott Jelinek here, Master Investor Academy. I wanted to do a short video for you to let you know about a little scam that is affecting real estate investors. It is not just a scam on real estate investors, but we are doing these transactions more often, so we're more highly likely for it to come across it. So I'm going to tell you exactly how this scam works and exactly what you need to do to avoid it. Um, so anyway, so this is how the scam goes. You're getting ready to buy a house. You're doing a closing. You're contacting, you have a processor at the lawyer's office. You've been in constant contact for the last two weeks, the last month. She emails you back and forth every day. Finally, she says, we're clear to close tomorrow or we're clear to close today. I will send you the wire instructions. Then you get the wire instructions and it says, you know, yada, 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 click here. And there's an attachment that has all the, um, closing documents as well as the wire instructions. The email states it's from the same person you've been dealing with the whole time. You go to the bank, you wire the money. Um, the bankers ask you questions. They've gotten pretty good at asking questions um, as far as do you know the person you're wiring it to and what the purpose is and everything else. You wire the money, then you call back your processor and say, hey, I just want to let you know I wired the money. Let me know when you receive it. She says, okay, I still haven't received it yet. Um, and that's typical. It normally takes a couple hours till they shows on their end is being received. Two, three, four hours go by. They say, nope, still haven't received it, but it's getting late. It'll probably be there tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, you call, still haven't received it. Can you double check with your bank? Nope, the bank says the money left my account. I can show you on my app. The money's out of my account. It should be there. Nope, the money's not there and it's not coming. And this is where it gets tricky and you are not getting refunded that money. So let me tell you exactly what happens. And this happens a lot and it's not just to real estate investors. I just read a story in, uh, online, but it was in a paper out in California. These people lost $700,000. They were moving into a home of their own and they lost $700,000 to this scam. So let me tell you the way this works. It all starts with your email getting hacked. And we all think, oh, it's my email. Who cares if someone had my password? Big whoop, someone had my password. What are they gonna do, see my emails? And, and oftentimes it got hacked a long time ago and you even changed your password since then. But there's something in your email that a lot of people don't know of, and that is where you can forward your emails. So oftentimes these people will hack your email and then forward your emails. Every email gets forwarded to another email address without you knowing it. So even if you change your password, they're still getting every email that you get. Does that make sense? So I'm telling you this so that you know first and foremost, if you're gonna change your password or if you've ever been hacked, you need to also go into your settings and make sure that there's no forwarding on for your emails. Or if it is forwarded, it's to wherever you wanted it forwarded to and not to some random person in Africa. Anyway, so what happens then is they're receiving every single one of your emails. So they're seeing that this is all taking place and getting ready to take place. Then on the day that they know it's about to close, they send you the email. They send you the email and you look at the email and it shows that it's coming from the same email address, from your process server. So you have no reason to doubt it. You, you're buying it from Juliet Atlantic Title and I just made that up. You're buying it from Juliet Atlantic Title. The email comes from Juliet Atlantic Title. You click on it. It has all the icons. It has their, their logo. It has all their uh, trusted source, all their icons that are on her regular emails. It's written from her in the same everything from her. Then there's an attachment and it has your closing documents. So how else, how would a scammer have your closing documents? And it has wire instructions, only these wire instructions are not the real wire instructions. This is where it gets tricky. You will not get refunded from the bank. If you go into the bank and wire that money, that money is gone. They have no insurance for you. You can't pull a wire back. Once it's out there, it's out there. And um, so what can you do about it? So first I'm going to tell you a story about a good friend of mine that this happened to, although he did not get scammed and I'll tell you why. And then I'm going to tell you what you can do about it to avoid this from happening to you. So a good friend of mine, he, um, he, he's a lender. He, he wasn't buying a house. He was loaning money. Well, anyway, they sent him the wire instructions and he's old school like I am where we don't wire. We very rarely ever wire money, right? We always, I'm, I drop off checks. Everybody's like, oh, I can't believe you do that. I, uh, I drop off checks and I pick up checks. Um, and that's just the way I like it. Not necessarily because of this, just because that's the way I like having a check in my hand. Anyway, so he's the same way. So he gets this, sorry, we no longer accept checks. You're going to have to wire the money from this attorney's office. And he's pissed. So he calls back the attorney and he's like, if they don't want my, if they don't want my check, then I'll find somewhere else to close. You know, I'm out of here. Well, then the lawyer calls him directly, not the processor calls him. I'm sorry. I don't know why they sent that to you. You're fine. We've known you forever. You're good. You come in. So anyway, so then 
He goes in, he brings in his certified check and everything's fine. Well, later that day, the attorney who he forwarded that to because he was pissed saying, I'm not, I'm not doing it. He clicks on it and he goes, wait, that's not even from us. And, um, and then they dug deeper into it and it turns out that was, it was all fraudulent. Um, and, the, uh, and his email had been hacked years ago. Years ago, he changed the password, but then they went into the settings. This is how I found out about it. Went into the settings and found out that years ago when he was hacked, what they did is they did mail forwarding. So every email they came in was going somewhere else. So he got lucky that he doesn't do wires. Otherwise, he likely would have fell for it because it looked perfect. So a couple things you can do to avoid this from happening to you. Thing number one is when you get an email, especially one pertaining wire information, even though you'll see which shows you who the email's from, it'll say Juliet, whatever title. If you click on it, then it shows you the actual email address. So on the fraudster's email address, it may show up in words as the same name and same um, title company or whatever. But when you click on it, it might be Juliet Advantage Title XYZ123974 because it's just some random thing as long as the front is what you're going to see. Secondly, and this is the more important thing you're always supposed to do with any wire you ever have to send. And I'm getting ready to send a wire today, even though I just told you I don't like wires. This is a deal I'm closing on in New York and I have no choice. So they're going to send you these wire instructions, right? Well, before you go inside, before you go in and hit the send button and wire this actual money, you pick up the phone and you call. You already know the person you've been dealing with. You call, hey, Julie, this is Scott. I'm getting ready to walk in the bank. I just want to verify the wire instructions you sent me. Um, can you read me the routing number? And is your account number X, Y, and Z? All right, thank you. I'll let you know as soon as it's done. Two minutes of your time. It's not even going to take two minutes. Make that phone call every single time you, say, you send a wire, and it is going to save you the pain and tragedy of losing tens, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Okay? So trust me on that. Just take the time, make that simple phone call. It's going to take two minutes and it's going to save you from ever being ripped off in a wire scam. That's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoy these videos, these tips, these tricks, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button. If you have any comments, go ahead and comment down. I will personally respond to you. Thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day and don't get yourself ripped off in one of these scams. Take it easy.